I hate the travel lodge. I'm a 40 year old stand up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. No one wants to stay in the travel lodge by choice. It's always a last resort. No one's thinking, I'd love to stay in a room so blandly anonymous <laughs> that it looks like the burial chamber of the king of an ancient civilization which valued above all bland anonymity. <laughs> the blandly anonymous burial chamber of a blandly anonymous king of a blandly anonymous civilization, his grave goods to take to the other side, simply three individually wrapped biscuits, a sachet of shampoo <laughs> and a remote control. <laughs> I'm a 40-year-old stand-up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. It's come to that. I hate the... Tra I set about trying to destroy the travel lodge. I went into my travel lodge room and I got the individually wrapped biscuits and I chewed them up in my mouth and until they were a paste, like a wasp would do. <laughs> and then I gunged the paste into the electrical sockets in the hope of inconveniencing someone at a later date. <laughs> I'm a 40-year-old stand-up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. I went into the travel lodge and I took down all the signs that say, in the event of a fire, your nearest exit is here, in the hope that future customers of the travel lodge would die, therefore destroying their customer base. <laughs> I'm a 40-year-old stand-up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. I hate the travel... You know, it says, please don't waste towels because of ecological issues. Only put them in the bath if you'd use them. I didn't use them and I still put them in the bath <laughs> to try and waste their money to drive them out of business. I'm a 40-year-old stand-up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. I went into the travel lodge room. I threw the television out of the window, but I forgot to pull the plug up and it bounced back and hit me in the face. <laughs> I'm a 40-year-old stand-up comedian and I hate the travel lodge. <laughs>